Okay, in, in this video we're going to kill a few birds with one stone. What I've got here is a sanding disc attachment for your table saw. And usually it comes with uh, different grits of sandpaper that are this shape with the hole pre-drilled and they have stick them on there. But we don't have that today, so what I'm going to do is just stick it on with contact cement. And it's perfect because we also have two, two different rollers that I'd like to explain when the time comes. So then we'll set this aside to dry. The excess I can use on the wood. So what I want to do is um, demonstrate how nice those rollers are to work when you're applying the laminate. ones I've had in the past have been mounted in such a way where that when you're using, when you're applying pressure, the, the, actually, the handle actually turns on you and you don't have as much control. These ones are nice. They're rugged. They apply, they apply nice, nice even pressure. That aside, correct. Of course, the, the more even you get it, the, the nicer your finished surface is going to be. So we'll come back to that in about 10 minutes, and we'll show you what we have to show you next. Well, now that our contact cement is dry, I'm going to get this thing as centered as possible on our sanding disc attachment. And then I'll trim it. Once it's on, I'll trim it with my utility knife. This is an, an example of one of the rollers. I, I like the shape, I like the grip, and it, it really lets me get on top of my work and apply even pressure. Now the next roller is different in, in a variety of ways. It's got a really nice handle here, but it, it also has an extendable shaft. So if you're doing a 4x8 sheet of plywood or a tabletop where you really need to be reaching out far, you can literally pull it back to a point and extend it and get that, that sort of action as well. But if you want to be on top of your work, you can just get this sort of action. It's got three separate, uh, fairly soft rubber rollers. So you get a nice distribution of force. I'll set this aside and trim it later. And all I want to do here is apply this piece of plywood to that piece of veneer or formica cheap Taiwanese version of Formica. And it's on, it's on there, but I'm not convinced that it's 100% on there. And I can, I can roll it on nicely like this. do to demonstrate these two together is I'm going to get my flush cut trimmer on my router, trim this clean, and then take it over to the table saw and uh, round the corners over for you. So that's, that's on there, nice and even, no bubbles, and uh, now it's time to go give it a sand.